here. Come on. That's it. Well, it's nice to see you, Susie. Hey, would you like to uh, play a little guessing game? Would you, would you all like to play a little guessing game? Yeah. Would you? All right, well, we've got three silver cups here. Let's show the silver cups to the boys and girls. There we are. Hold them upside down, make sure there's nothing in them. There we are, nothing under that one there. Nothing under that one there. Uh, you want that one there? Sorry about that. And we've got here a little wooden sooty. Now, there we are, a little wooden... Ah, oh, isn't that nice? We're going to put him down there in the middle, and we're going to cover him up with this little silver cup. Now, what we're going to do now... Don't, don't do that. We're going to cover him up with the silver cup. And then we'll... Don't do that. We'll cover him up with the... Will you stop doing it? Look, just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Cover him up with a silver cup, and there he is in the middle. Right, now watch the cups very carefully. I'm going to move them round. You've got to guess where the little wooden sooty has gone. So watch very, very closely. Here we go. We're going to put that one there, that one there, and that one there. Now, where is the little wooden sooty? In the middle. You're absolutely right, because it never moved. And... Um, how did that get there? Uh, we can't have been watching properly. Let's cover it up again. We'll start again. I'm sorry about that. Let's start again. Let's put that in the middle. So there he is underneath the middle one. So watch very closely. Put that one there, that one there, and that one there. Where is he this time? Where is he? In the middle. You're absolutely right. He's in the middle because we... I'm not sure what's going on here. Anyway, never mind. We can't be doing it correctly. We'll uh, leave that one there. Leave him there. There he is under the end this time. So watch very closely. We're going to put that one there, that one there, and that one there. Where's the little wooden sooty this time? Well, I think you're quite correct because I think it... Well, it's not under there. It'll be underneath the middle one. You're... Well, if it's not under there and it's not under there, it must be under this one, mustn't it? Because... Where's it gone to? It's in my top pocket. It isn't in my top pocket. It isn't in my top pocket, is it? Yeah! No, I don't think it... Oh, look at this. Hang on a minute. Look at that. It was there all the time. Well, I don't know how that got there, but never mind. We'll have one more try for the very last time and watch very, very closely this time. We'll cover him up with the silver cup. There we go, and watch very closely. Put that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there. Now, where's the little wooden sooty this time? It's underneath the end one, because... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry about that. Cover him up against sooty. Well, there he is, underneath the middle one. So we can all... What's going on here? Just a minute, look at that. There's three wooden sooties. I might have known you'd do something like that. Anyway, let's forget all about those for the minute because right now you're in for a big treat. We're going to see the second episode of our serial film entitled The Case of the Black Hand. Nice bowl of porridge to help you keep your strength up. <laughs> Disguised as a little old lady, the villainous bank robber, known as the Black Hand, leaves our ace detectives with a sticky problem. This bowl of porridge will go splat in 30 seconds. Sign the Black Hand. As the seconds tick by, we ask the question, can Sooty stop the clock? Will the porridge go splat? Cut it now! Black Hand. <laughs> Black Hand one, Sooty nil. Now, watch this week's exciting episode, The Thread of Evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in splatting porridge. Ah, oh, there you are, boys. I wonder where that black hand has gone to. Just a bit. Look at this. Now, I think that when the black hand was pretending to be that little old lady, he caught the wool on the mirror, and it leads off in the direction in which he went. At last, a thread of evidence. 
evidence. Come on, boys, let's follow it. Detectives, it'll be quite safe with us. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about the rice pudding. It's quite safe with us. See there we are, boys. Another job. You see, these are. recognize me because I am a master of disguise. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies of the right pudding. Pudding? There's a sign here. This bowl of rice pudding will go splat in 30 seconds. Signed, the Black Hand. Look, boys, this must be the timer. Quickly, boys, we've got to stop the timer. They had come so close. Another ounce of wool would have done it. But now, can Sooty stop the clock? Will Sweep have to say goodbye to his favorite bone? As the seconds tick by, we ask the question. Will the rice pudding go splat? Do something! The yellow wire? Right, cut the yellow wire, Sherlock Sooty. If you want to find out what happens, watch our next episode. The arm of the law. Wow. Did you enjoy that? Yeah! Good. Well, here's something else you're going to enjoy because it's time for this week's special guest artist. And here to introduce him is Colin the Computer's Memory Bank. Over to you, memory Colin. Bank, bank. Memory Bank. bank, bank. Memory Bank. bank, bank. Oh, Fox. Oh, Fox. 
Poor Fox. Hey, I don't know if you know, but I've got a little spare time job. I do a little bit of teaching, and it's really quite a lot of fun. The only problem is the people I've got in my class. Can you guess who I've got? Sooty Sweet Sue, Butch Tiggs, and Maggie Mouse. Anyway, I told them yesterday we we're going to do some flower arranging in class today, so I brought, told them all to bring some flowers along. Let's go along and see how they're getting on, shall we? Round to the classroom. Uh, thank you very much, boys and girls. Just settle down. Uh, attention, please. Attention. Sooty, stop reading that comic underneath the desk. Come on up. Now, we're going to do the flower arrangement. So I see you've all brought your flowers. Uh, Sweet, what have you brought? Bones? You can't do a flower arrangement with bones, Sweet. Listen, flowers come from the ground. Bones don't. Those did. You dug them up this morning. Oh. No. no need to be clever, Sweep. Just go outside and get something for the flower arrangement. Go on. And hey, floppy lugs. It's a nice stinging nettles behind the bicycle shed. We don't want to know about stinging nettles or the bicycle shed. Just go and get something. Go on. Sooty, what have you brought for the flower arrangement? They're underneath my desk. Oh, I see them. Go and bring them up. That's it. Hang on a minute. Just look at this. Dandelions and daisies. You thought everybody else would be bringing roses. How wrong can you be? I, I know, sir. I pleaded with him. Sooty, I pleaded. But it was to no avail. All right, Sue, just leave this to me. Well, let's get on with your flower arrangement, then. Which one are you going to start with? This long one here. All right, there we are. Just going to make a little flower arrangement. Right, pop it in there, Sooty. And, uh, what do I think to it? Well, is that it? Is that the arrangement? Well, it's a little bit long, isn't it? You can soon cut it down to size. Hang on, he's going to cut it down to si no good we can't see it you're gonna start all over again he's gonna start all over again jolly good job as well go down there and get the other flowers that's it now make a very nice neat arrangement all right sooty don't just push them in what do i think to that 
Well, I think it's very untidy. You think it's artistic in a modern sense? Well, I can't say I agree with you, really, Sooty. Oh, oh, hello, sweet. Hey, flathead. Yeah. What, what do you mean, flathead? Don't call me a flathead. Oh, he his back. Yes, I see his back. Oh. What's the cricket bat for, sweet? For the flower arrangement. <laughs> you can't make a flower arrangement with a cricket bat. Go on, take it out and get something from the garden. Go on. Hey, bird brain. Some nice toadstools on the cricket pitch. We don't, oh, we don't want to know about the toadstools or the cricket pitch. Go on, sweet. That's it. Now listen, Sooty, we really must get on with your flower arrangement because everybody else in the class is doing very, very well and you're lagging behind badly. So let's get on with this flower arrangement and we... Hang on a minute. Where's that flower gone to? Where are all the flower... The snake? Yay. You mean Ramsbottom? No, it couldn't have been Ramsbottom because he's at the dentist today having a fang filled. It's probably that gelatin because he's always removing things. Anyway, we've got a problem now because we haven't got any flowers. Hey, Tosh. What do you want, Butch? Brain of Britain's back. Brain of Britain. Uh, oh, I see you've got some flowers. Sweet, we've got a slight problem. We don't have any flowers of our own. Can we borrow one, sweet? We can. All right, he's going to lend us one of his flowers. It's nice. That's a very nice one. Let's put that in your... Uh, in... Hang on a minute. That's a plastic flower. Trying to save water. Well, you save water with that because it doesn't use any flower, any water. Look, you, you start with your flower arrangement, sweet, because it's about time you got going. Otherwise, you're going to be left well behind. You're going to have to stay behind after school. All right, so you just get on with that. Let's... It wasn't him! It must have been the Janet. Anyway, we have really got a problem. Just a minute. It's there. There's the flower. Grab it, Sooty. Come on, grab... Oh! You were right. It's Ramsbottom. Come on, spit it out. Come on. Hey, 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 hey me nashers. You nashers. It was you pinching our flowers, Aye, wasn't it? I've just been to dentist and I was trying out me new nashers <laughs> on <laughs> young daisies and dandelions. Look at that. When all of a sudden, perishing plastic. Yes, well, it serves you right. a lot of brass and all them nashers. Yes, well, never mind about the nashers. Just disappear. Go Nothing on, Ramsbottom. Just, just give us a daisy or two to chew. No, you can't have a daisy. Go on, get out of it. Hey, we... How about a marigold to munch? No, you can't have a marigold. We're very busy up here. A cowslip to crunch? Absolutely nothing. Go on. Well, ecky thump. Epic ecky thump to you as well. Do you know, I'm absolutely worn out. This lesson's wearing me out. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. What do you uh, want? I have a suggestion to make. Do you? Why don't you relax and enjoy the bowl of strawberries I brought for you? You brought me a bowl of strawberries? Mm. Oh, that's... Boy, go and fetch that bowl of strawberries over there for the teacher. Mm. Well, Thank you very much. Sir. That's lovely. Right, uh, give them to me, so teach. Can you have one? No, you can't have one. They're for me. Just a little one. Not even a little one. They're for me, so give them to me. Go on, Sonny. Give them to him. Come on, don't just stand there. Give them to me. <laughs> oh, that's very Look at the state oh, of me. Oh, lovely. Class dismissed. Go on. I should clear off before I change my mind. Go on, quickly, you Go on. Really? Well, I'm going to get cleaned up, and I'm going to have a good time anyway, because we're all going down to Sooty's Disco. here at the Sooty Show. Don't forget, we'll be back the same time, same place, next week. See you all then. Bye!
time and watch very, very closely this time. We'll cover him up with the silver cup. There we go, and watch very closely. Put that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there. Now, where's the little wooden sooty this time? <laughs> it's underneath the end one because... Uh, Oh, I'm sorry about that. Covering him up against Tootie. Well, there he is, underneath the middle one. So we can all... <laughs> What's going on? Just a minute. Look at that. There's three wooden Tootie. They might have known you do something like that. Anyway, let's forget all about those for the minute, because right now you're in for a big treat. We're going to see the second episode of our serial film entitled The Case of the Black Hand. nice bowl of porridge to help you keep your strength up. <laughs> Disguised as a little old lady, the villainous bank robber, known as the Black Hand, leaves our ace detectives with a sticky problem. This bowl of porridge will go splat in 30 seconds. Sign the Black Hand. As the seconds tick by, we ask the question, can Sooty stop the clock? Will the porridge go splat? Cut it now! One there and that one there. Now, where is little wooden sooty? In the middle. You're absolutely right because it never moved. And um, how did that get there? Uh, we can't have been watching properly. Let's cover it up again. We'll start again. I'm sorry about that. Let's start again. Let's put that in the middle. So there he is underneath the middle one. So watch very closely. Put that one there, that one there, and that one there. Where is he this time? Where is he? In the middle. You're absolutely right. He's in the middle because we... Ne I'm not sure what's going on here. Anyway, never mind. We can't be doing it correctly. We'll uh, leave that one there. Leave him there. There he is under the end this time, so watch very closely. We're going to put that one there, that one there, and that one there. Where's the little wooden sooty this time? Well, I think you're quite correct because I think it... Well, it's not under there. It'll be underneath the middle one. You're... Well, if it's not under there, and it's not under there, it must be under this one, mustn't it? Because... Well, where's it gone to? It's in my top pocket. It isn't in my top pocket. It isn't in my top pocket, is it? No, I don't think it... Oh, look at this. Hang on a minute. Look at that. It was there all the time. Well, I don't know how that got there, but never mind. We'll have one more try for the very last time. Here, come on. That's it. Well, it's nice to see you, Susie. Hey, would you like to uh, play a little guessing game? Would you, would you all like to play a little guessing game? Yeah. Would you? All right, well, we've got three silver cups here. Let's show the silver cups to the boys and girls. There we are. Hold them upside down, make sure there's nothing in them. There we are. Nothing under that one there. Nothing under that one there. Uh, you want that one there? Sorry about that. And we've got here a little wooden sooty. Now, there we are. Little wooden... Ah, oh, isn't that nice? We're going to put him down there in the middle, and we're going to cover him up with this little silver cup. Now, what we're going to do now... Don't, don't do that. We're going to cover him up with the silver cup. And then we'll... Don't do that. We'll cover him up with the... Will you stop doing it? Go, just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Cover him up with the silver cup, and there he is in the middle. Right, now, watch the cups very carefully. I'm going to move them round. You've got to guess where the little wooden sooty has gone. So watch very, very closely. Here we go. We're going to put that one there, that one... <laughs> Look! Look, boys! It goes down the manhole! Come on, <laughs> you get down. Come on, Sooty. Come on, Sweep. Down the manhole, Sweep. Come on. <laughs> it's very smelly down there. Ooh, you're right. Never mind, it's all in the course of duty. Go on, I'm following. Follow the wool. Whew. It does smell. But I know, because I laid the trail. 
Nil. Now, watch this week's exciting episode, The Thread of Evidence. <laughs> Covered in splatting porridge. Ah, oh, there you are, boys. I wonder where that black hand has gone to. Just a bit. Look at this. Now, I think that when the black hand was pretending to be that little old lady, he caught the wool on the mirror, and it leads off in the direction in which he went. At last, a thread of evidence. Uh, uh. Thread of evidence. Come on, boys, let's follow it. 